Welcome everybody to Christians Against Religion. I'm Ethan. I'm Steve. And we're here, ready to talk about the most controversial topics, as always. And yes, so we're bad at the Thanksgiving dinner table. <laughs> <laughs> so, it is one of those weeks, one of my favorite weeks of the year, Election Week. And so, we are here to talk about the... Say it together. Gospel. Uh, well, yes, that too. But <laughs> um, so I remember two years ago, election 2020, we did this episode on uh, Christian Anarchy Today about how Christians should respond to the results of the presidential election. Mm -hmm. And so we, we did that. And I thought it was important that we do another one because surprisingly, this election is high stakes as well, depend on whatever party you want, you're on. And so... We're going to be talking about all about Christians and politics today. Yes, but with a note um, at the start is that uh, we're not going to be saying, oh, vote for this candidate, vote for that candidate. I'm voting for this person. You're voting for that person. Why are we doing that? Um, instead, we're going to be talking about churches that do exactly that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I do find this very important that uh, I'm, I'm active in politics. I'm registered to vote. Steve's registered to vote. I don't know how active he is, but <laughs> he's registered. I am active. Uh, see, both active people in politics. So we do have our views. And for me, this is a very important election. Um, and the stuff that's going to happen this election is, I think, going to be uh, either catastrophic or really good for the country. Uh, so we do have our opinions. But that is not to say that we can't disagree, right? As we always say, we can always disagree. I have very faithful brothers in the faith that are I'm a yeah. What did I just say? <laughs> well, wait, I've said this on the show before. Though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, it, like, it, it, it's, I didn't say who I was voting for specifically, but... Okay. Yeah. That is literally what I was trying to avoid is <laughs> getting into any particular political stance. Well, so, Ethan, can well, it? I'm not telling I'm gonna, you to vote that way. I'm, I'm saying you could disagree with me. Well, I'm going to censor this part and cut <laughs> it out of the video. I'm a... Yes. And he's a... Yes. <laughs> All right. So anyways, well, we're not saying who, what we are. We're just talking about okay. it as a whole, please. I'm a <laughs> Sorry, I was lying the whole time. I now I gotta beat that too. <laughs> now I gotta okay, beat that well, too. Uh, but, but the whole point is, before I was so rudely interrupted, uh, that we can disagree on how to do this show and how to vote. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, well, I think we, we've all seen it. Um, maybe we haven't. I, I guess it depends on what church you go to and what part of the country and what town or city you're in. But I'm certain um, that there's places out there where somebody ends up bringing up politics in a conversation after church service or before church service or during church service where uh, someone says, uh, I'm a Democrat, or I'm a Republican, or I vote for Jill Stein and the Green Party. Um, and it causes division between yeah. believers because they're, for one, um, people make uh, politics and uh, uh, um, and elections and all that stuff and, vote, and voting for a candidate, that they make that their religion over over Christ, mm -hmm. right? Or they make that, it's like its own type of religion in a way. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, wouldn't that be classified as idolatry? Oh, oh well, I mean, it, it certainly could be. Uh, and I, I think that a majority of churches do this, at least in my experience. So, uh, when I was in Church of God in Christ, it's a hugely African-American uh, church, so it's going to be democratic because most African-Americans statistically are Democrats. So, uh, with with that, my pastor would go on tangents about Trump being a racist and we need to get out and vote and all that. And he still, uh, rumor has it, he still does this. Um, mm. And, you, uh, you know, there, there there were people in the audience, I, I know of a, a couple of them that, are, that were conservative leaning. Well, not even conservative because black black people especially in that church are highly conservative mm. but they vote only democrat right mm. uh so they're pro-life they think homosexuality should be outlawed they hate drugs like every conservative position you can think of they support mm -hmm. and then they vote for the opposite party that's that's a tangent in and of itself but there's so there are people that are more republicans and vote republicans including one of the elders there uh that are basically left out i mean you have the bishop of our church uh, and 
in Utah that uh, is railing against all of our political views or a majority of the congregation. So it was just weird. And I've felt the opposite effect, too. Yeah, so I don't really care at all about the political stances of anybody in that church. The whole point is, what is the per like, why would you bring that into church? Yeah. What, it, what does that have to do with It's not anything? a campaign event, right? Right, that's, my, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you doing, yeah. churches, if you're a pastor out there watching this? What are you doing bringing into into your uh, your church service where you're supposed to be teaching people, feeding your flock um, with... Uh, you know, with the, the spirit and with the word and with information about about uh, the gospel and uh, you know what we can do to to worship uh, our Lord more. And you're bringing in stuff about earthly men in an earthly affair that doesn't have anything to do with His spiritual kingdom. So what the heck are you doing? Mm -hmm. It's it's so irritating. We saw it a lot. We've seen it a lot in the last uh, few elections because they've been so high stakes or whatever mm -hmm. who the cares about any of that this is not a church is not a place for politics and it's a it's a place for church it's uh well we do we don't even like ha having um you know religious ordinances be thrust upon people now you're talking about political stuff yeah are you kidding me that's the, the at least with the uh religious stuff you have some sort of uh you know backing for it you know mm -hmm. um or, or or some excuse but you have no excuses for the politics in your church well so cut it out so and i'm gonna differ with ethan on this but that's my main uh focus of this I, episode i, I, I literally just, don't give a about any of this <laughs> so i i vote and all that stuff but in this context who cares okay so uh there there's an argument that i used to believe in it, it's really ridiculous to me now but i'm sure some people are thinking this that uh that jesus was involved with politics and you say well how he's like well the pharisees were the governing leaders of the day right and so as a kid i'm, I'm like oh well that makes sense jesus was political because he was arguing with the political leaders the difference is the political leaders of that day were the, were the religious, religious leaders, leaders right the <laughs> so yeah. so in uh, case you're thinking of that none argument, of the it does politicians are religious leaders right now that are uh i like, hope not yeah really and if they not. are we have a problem because that's the whole separation of church and state in this country if you're somewhere else i don't know about that but um yeah in this country we have a separation of church and state so mm -hmm. if any a political leader is acting like the religious leader or vice versa mm -hmm. uh that shouldn't be happening anyways but yeah. uh yeah that's so that is why that was happening back then but it was because uh, of the religiosity not because of their political thing he he mm -hmm. said this is the whole point we said this at the first <laughs> show i say it every darn time it's, you know when uh, the the jews thought jesus was going to be a religious leader a, a political, political leader, leader yeah. a political king and uh, save them from uh, all the turmoil mm -hmm. there on this earth and he said my kingdom's not of this world if it were my servants would fight yep but my kingdom's not from here so so i mean it's pretty clear what right. what, what, what he came to do and what his purpose was and what kind of things he cared about and what his focus was it's the so, spiritual, not the earthly. So I have to address something. Yeah. I, I highly doubt anyone's going to remember this, but just in case they do and they type it in the comments. And I've, and I've addressed this before, and I'm going to do it again. So la this time last year, we recorded an episode uh, with Sean on... Uh, Can you be Chicago a communist and a Christian? Yeah. That was a good oh, one. Oh, well... It I'm surprised you remember it, I right? That and so I remember it was a good episode. Now I, in the wake of certain political events that happened in 2021, I, I just seceded from it. I said I hate politics. Christians shouldn't be involved in politics. Just get out of it, be, because it's it's all it's all BS, right? And so I, I expressed that view on that show, right? And we we didn't we back. disagree. Yeah, or we did, did disagree. disagree. Or did, what, what, did, like, didn't well, I was saying, I was saying that uh, Christians just shouldn't vote in general. Oh like, yeah, like and we, I said I don't go for it. Yeah, yeah. so but so, don't bring it into church. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I don't think that was the argument I was making, but um, 
and so so here here we have we have a have a changed man that is voting this year right so i i do want to explain a bit of why of why i changed on that so my whole logic between it is that, he, is that he, he, let me before you say that yeah here's his logic it's like the guy that gets super drunk uh on a friday and then wakes up on saturday hung over and says i'm never drinking ever again <laughs> my head hurts it's never gonna happen and mm -hmm. then next week yeah, he gets see. drunk again. <laughs> That's what it so, is. It's so, next week for you, Ethan. <laughs> well, you know what? Yeah, you're you're right on that note. So, <laughs> so my whole reasoning was is that after seeing how people literally worship political figures, like yeah, th like they give their life to them, they treat they treat them like Jesus or Savior, right? Um, and then seeing turmoil happening after that i as a christian i view that as me participating in their sin right in the sin of the person that i'm voting for like like let's say oh that's no. right that's, yeah 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 so so that that was my whole argument that if i vote for them i'm advocating for their sin and uh, uh all that right and so i as a christian remove myself and try to change the country through the preaching of the gospel and whatnot so the the thing that's changed is that i think god has given us freedom uh, and not only freedom in like a spiritual sense are you coming around to our point of view from that show what? i think he is i think what? he has well i mean awakening. i mean obvi obviously i have because i'm voting this year right yeah. so i mean i and I think God has blessed those of us in America and European countries and all that to live in a place where we can decide who represents us, right? And so in that in that sense, it is removed from a religious sense, and it's whether you decide to participate in it or not. It's, yeah. And it's not sinful either, either way or right in any way. It's just something that God has allowed us to have in this nation, right? And so we have the freedom to choose whether to do it or not. So yeah. that's and how I view it and now. And can it be sinful, though? Yes, it can if you're propping them up as your idols. Which sure, is whole sure, thing. yeah. But uh, the... That, I mean, that's not the thing that we see churches uh, talking about. We don't see churches saying, oh, don't make them your idol. We see churches making them people's yeah, idol. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, to I guess to uh, bring people up to speed with this because they probably haven't seen that episode mm -hmm. is um, – you know, we were discussing of could it be, could it be sinful uh, to let's say vote for a communist or whatever or or be a communist or, or be a communist or however uh, we wanted to say it there. And um, Ethan's argument was, well, then you're participating in in sins and atrocities that are happening under those leaders. No. And we're well now you're saying nah, mm -hmm. uh, and that's what uh, I was saying then. Too. But I did say Christian could be a communist though. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying. Yeah, it, uh, yeah, I'm just saying we're all. I think we're on the same page now. Is that, you know, what you do as an American, you you're an American. You can vote how you so choose. Mm -hmm. um, and I I believe in the separation of church and state so in your I. life and yeah. in um in well the the law I guess. But uh, who cares how mm -hmm. how you vote? Um, just vote as you as you led, and. Don't confuse the two. Don't confuse uh, uh, what God wants with what a politician wants. Mm -hmm. Don't confuse this politician of being sent by God to save us from this world. Yep. Because only one person can save us from this world. Jesus. There we go. Only you Jesus got, you can got save us. Yeah, so it, who cares so about this stuff? I mean, we see it every year. It comes in waves. You know, you get yep. this politician, that politician. It's going to be the end of the world. The most and, important election of our lifetime. Yes. I've heard of the past three elections. Yes. Four and elections. sure. And sure. Um, uh, you know, stuff happens in each when each person is in power. But I mean, that's to be expected. So. Uh, who cares about all that it's uh, we're living in the greatest time ever this is the greatest time to be alive ever right now Amen. so far i don't know maybe the future will be even better but the yeah so just be happy what time you the time you live in um praise jesus and uh, vote as your political mind is led okay and keep those things separate don't you dare bring it into your church sermon pastors out there mm -hmm. and if you're uh, if you're um, sitting in church talking to your uh, brother or sister in Christ, sure, you can talk about politics. Ethan and I were just talking about it um, mm -hmm. before we even started the show. And if you disagree, which I think Ethan and I disagree on a few things here and there, yeah. um, who cares? You just love, yeah. you know? 
well, it's politics. It's not. It's not uh, the end of the world. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. If anything, it gives you an opportunity to love more when the annoying poli- uh, political person is like preaching politics at you, and mm-hmm. uh, you get to you get to exercise that agape love yep. even more. But um, don't be speaking for God and using politicians as a proxy for God. Okay. Yeah. Because. That's not going to fly with me. Yeah, well, uh, not going to fly with me. And, and you know, every political leader, and Paul says this, I believe in Romans thirteen, ordained is, by God. It, yeah, it's or, it's ordained by God. So I mean, I don't know what God was thinking with uh, some of the people he's put up. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I'm kidding, God. Well, uh, but that's what you know? that's what an argument a lot of people use to say, no, no, we this is why we need to preach for politics in church and all that they're ordained by god but i think uh an easier way to sum up that uh statement there is uh, or another way to put it is yeah politicians are ordained by god but also your landlord being your landlord is ordained by god also your sister being your sister is ordained by god also your teacher that you have also everything and what what are we supposed to do with those authorities submit we're supposed to submit to their authority Mm -hmm. And how many Christians are doing that oh, who are on the Republican side, who are huge Trumpies? How many of them are submitting to Biden or being respectful to Biden, right? Mm-hmm. Or President Biden, excuse me. Uh, well, but, okay, <laughs> but know, I will make but, this argument, though, um, that we take with other things in yeah. the New Testament that this was for that time. And that it really was important to submit to those leaders because of what was happening in that day with, uh, you know, Christians being killed, all that stuff. So, so do you think it has any application to us? Uh, a spiritual application. You can I, take, I, I you think can take so. it to mean what you need, but um, I don't necessarily think it should be taken literally like it was back then. Well, so, I, so that would be my counter argument okay. to that. But um, it's up for debate, and that's kind of the point. Yeah, I would. Um, I would think it would, it would apply as a on a principle of respect towards the leaders that God has, has ordained, because I still think God ordains leaders for certain purposes. But so. again, that can be uh, applied to. And it can be applied to other leaders that aren't sure, just sure, political leaders. Sure. So, so I take a more broad definition of that um, in both of those things. Yeah. Well, well, it, it, and I think it's it, up for debate. Even in, but sure, but even even in that instance, there's no reason to. Um, I'm not saying you should go, fight against political leaders. Right? I'm not yeah. saying you should fight at all. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. But but, but I'm like just saying, you can you know you. Use the spirit to guide you in that. In yeah. that. But but there. Uh, but uh, uh, if they if they tell you to go against God, you're not going to obviously do yeah. that. So. But uh, but we're called to love, right? And, that, and that's something we totally agree on. And mm-hmm. driving around with fuck Biden and uh, <laughs> flags is not love. Oh, and it, I better and take not, those off my car. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's simply not. Uh, yeah. I mean, I laugh at him every time I see it, and. Uh, God's gonna have to reform me in that because I I do find it funny. Or uh, but well, take it as th- what it is. Okay, yeah. It's like I mean, come on. You, like we, we you you like Dave Chappelle. I like comedians that talk about absurd and uh, 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 that's uh, different. Uh, <laughs> that's what I'm saying though. Yeah. We can laugh at comedy sure, for comedy's sure. sake. If, it, if you find it if you find it funny that somebody you know something happens, okay, just take it for what it is and sure, laugh sure. at it. Sure, you're, you're right at that. So that's I, I, ju- I just think that um, that whenever we uh, it, it, go- it goes back to how I interpret Romans 13 because I, I still think it applies in some sense to today uh, I, I think that even though I'm not saying you should be driving around with that I'm just saying yeah, you can laugh oh, at it well, well, <laughs> well sure but but I I, I don't think it's, Christ- uh, it's I don't think it's Christ like at all I mean, unless the, you think it's that. funny I don't yeah. know maybe you're yeah, trying to make pe- brighten people's day or, right, yeah with funny the fuck flag, flag. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, flag so, like so, someone made someone made your day better when you saw it so there you go is that loving uh, hey yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, it, to a Biden supporter, it's not loving. And <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, yeah. Interpret what you would like on that. This is why there's freedom in Christ and why uh, he writes his laws on our hearts and our minds so mm-hmm. that we can use our best judgments. Go by the Spirit. And, uh, yeah, and this, this is why we go by the Spirit because there's debate in these things. So yeah. you need to use your best judgment and, and why love is our standard. So, okay, how is this loving or not? Yeah. Um, and maybe if it's a question, we're like, ooh, maybe, but ooh, maybe not. Maybe just don't do the thing. Yeah. If it's that, you know. Yeah, if it's that difficult. Yeah, you know, or do it. Who cares? But yeah. just you know, this is it's up to you. Um, but when you're thinking in that mindset, I think you'll come to 
uh, better results than Amen. Uh, by whatever your pastor tells you to do or not do yeah. in a political sense. Yeah. So. All right. I, that's all I got. All right. Cool. Are you going to hash out your predictions or no? We did this last time. So no, there's well, precedent. Not. There's let's, precedent. We're not going to do that. Because uh, I already bleeped you out earlier for saying <laughs> things. Um, and the audience won't even know what I'm talking about because I might. I don't know. We'll see what I decide what, to do. What, just edit out the whole conversation? <laughs> I might. We'll see. No, or I'll no put deal. Or I'll put a black bar over your mouth and say censor. <laughs> I think I'll probably do that. Okay. Well, anyways, if that's the case, you've already seen it already, That are uh, those that are watching. Yeah. So, um, see how right we are. Yeah. Well, it's going to take a few days for some states, Pennsylvania especially, and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So this comes out on Wednesday, so it still may be up in the air. Or if there's a recount in Arizona, it'll what? take a long Wait, time. Wait, it's, it's the 8th. What day is it today? It's the 6th? Yeah, the election's on Tuesday. This will be on well, Wednesday. Well, then we'll release it on Tuesday. Okay. So that people can enjoy the... the, uh, the no one's going to watch whatever. it. They're going to be watching <laughs> the, the election. I'm not going to watch it until uh, Wednesday. Well, when when's the election stuff the most... Uh, like is it all day like the so so the polls so since we're here in utah we're on mountain star under time the polls close between seven and eight o'clock on the eastern side so here it'll be with five or six o'clock when results start coming in so we'll post in the morning then okay morning of election day you'll be you'll be watching this um so oh, who's gonna win we don't know oh oh, oh boy I, it's I, happening tonight i, I have my predictions p.m or whatever or five uh, sometime tonight after you're eating dinner leave your predictions in the comments below no, do <laughs> or I, I really want to share my thoughts but no nope. you know, go nope. ahead T uh, talk to Ethan some other place if you want to get his yeah, thoughts on it, it. Go to you, Instagram and talk oh, to yeah, him. Oh, yeah, yeah. At Ethan Z. Foster. Yes. Oh, also, follow the Christians Against Religion Instagram account. Christian underscore against underscore religion. No underscore behind that. So uh, follow us on Instagram. We're trying to grow stuff. I haven't posted reels on there recently. I apologize for that. I'm going to start doing some more this week. Um, and I want to do some YouTube shorts, but I had some problems with it when I tried. So we'll try and know that yeah. we're trying to grow this. So please share, like, and subscribe. If you, want, if, you want to, if you want to talk to me about the election stuff, go to uh, Quarter's YouTube page and watch me play video games and talk to me there. <laughs> or or, or watch, watch the music videos and stuff. <laughs> talk to me about politics there. We'll yeah. see what happens. Um, also go like and subscribe to that but uh, we will tell you this the most important thing to do is to go to cult.love and uh, become a member at least check it out um, check out all the, uh, the information you can uh, first and then uh, yeah become a member if you're led uh, it, it's a fantastic uh, resource for everything loving and everything about faith wise Christ. yeah yeah no. yeah faith wise yeah be so. sure to read your bible study think for yourself don't let your pastor command whatever he thinks is true don't make it be like a steven anderson right if you remember who that is steve oh the guy that yeah, <laughs> the okay, reaction yeah. video no, we it's, saw him release that one but that yeah that's that a golden one but uh yeah it, be led by the spirit pr being continual prayer i I do prayer is the most powerful thing that we have at our disposal because we can communicate directly with God. Being prayer for uh, for people knowing Christ and living in Him faithfully in this world, and pray that America. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to say that because that sounds that sounds theocratic. But pray that people in this nation will turn to God because that's the only solution to our problems. Yep. Don't be praying for an election result. Pray, pray for uh, people to come to God. Please. But I guess please. you. Can, I guess you can. I mean, <laughs> no, don't. You can yeah. do that. I don't. I, I, I mean, I'm not yeah. opposed to it. But but when you like, uh, just don't do it in church. But I mean, I don't. I'm not going to tell you what to do in your uh, personal prayers to God. You do, uh, you know, pray how you're led. <laughs> At least you're talking to God. Whenever I watch, that. whenever I watch a close election, I, I yeah, I'm it's always not going my favor. I'm like, Lord, please, just thirty six thousand more votes, please. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm I'm of the mind where I pray about every little thing, no matter Are what. You? It's like I'm not going to say, oh no, this isn't big enough to pray about. I pray for. Uh, uh, hockey game results oh, I for everything <laughs> because because here's why it's like uh i'd rather i'd rather be praying for everything than be praying for nothing that's fair that is fair you know so um but that's just me yep that's my opinion right. on that well think continually pray unceasingly and we will see you here next week on christians against religion see ya that was a good episode, dude. yeah boy